Draco galaxy. Its shape is not random, but can tell us how the galaxy's environment looked like before, during, or after the formation of that galaxy. But why is that? As a larger structure collapses to form that galaxy, it exerts anisotropic stress on the galaxy that forms. Here, you see a simulation of the formation of an elliptical galaxy from the illustrious suite, which depicts the effect large scales have on galaxy formation. The tidal forces that arise along the galaxy's axes deform its initial shape. As a result, the shape of elliptical galaxies carries information on much larger scales. In fact, it correlates with larger scale tidal fields, an effect which is known as intrinsic alignment. In our latest publication, we constrained the linear alignment model using luminous red galaxies from the SDSS-3 Boss Low Z Galaxy Sample and three dimensional tidal fields constrained with the low Z and C mass galaxy samples by the Borg algorithm. Here, you see an example of how the 3D tidal fields look like at a fixed distance from the observer. A field level approach, like the one we present here, allows greater modeling flexibility for future studies. First, it can accommodate nonlinear corrections to the intrinsic alignment model. Second, it can be extended to smaller scales, incorporating nonlinear corrections to gravitational evolution. Third, it facilitates joint inferences of intrinsic alignment and weak lensing. We jointly infer the amplitude of intrinsic alignment and random noise and find 4 sigma evidence of intrinsic alignment at 30 megaparsecs. In this plot, you see the amplitude of intrinsic alignment as a function of scale. The yellow window represents scales smaller than the original resolution of our tidal fields. We further infer the amplitude of intrinsic alignment as a function of luminosity, redshift and color within the luminous red galaxy sample and find no evolution. If you're interested in more details, check out our archive submission linked in the description box and stay tuned for more updates.